Ladies and gents, welcome back. The farmers' protest in the Netherlands is spreading throughout Europe as governments are cracking down on farmers' livelihoods with their luxury beliefs and feel-good ideology. Kian Bexty, of whom I've been mispronouncing his name this entire time. Sorry, Kian. Uh, it's pronounced Kian Bexty, uh, broke this story to the rest of the world and well, here he is on Laura Ingram's program talking a little bit about what's going on. Again, as always, links in the description down below. You can see the, the clips in their entirety, but I'll show you a bit of this here. Uh, farmers are on, uh, are on edge because farms that they've held in their family for generations, in some cases since the 1300s, uh, are now going to have to be sold off because they're not going to be able to maintain their herds. It costs money to run an operation, and without a critical mass of uh, livestock or, or output, uh, they're going to be forced to sell their land for pennies on the dollar, land that has been in their families for uh, centuries. Uh, and and they, that and, land yeah, is they help, going to be— can, can, they also help feed the world. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about a global food shortage mm -hmm. with what we're seeing in Ukraine. Absolutely they right they provide that. an essential service. That's right. So— here we have an article from the counter signal. Again, you can watch the rest of that clip. Uh, leave a link in the description down below. There's part one and part two of that interview on the Laura Ingram show on Fox News. New Dutch German farmer convoy heads to the border. A new Dutch German farmer convoy has taken off and is holding demonstrations along the A7 motorway in the Netherlands Germany border. This is taking as wildfire. According to the, and I'm going to butcher this, but the, the Cloak and Loiters Telegram channel, which has been sending out alerts for various protest locations since the demonstrations began, a, visi a, visibili a, vis a visibly action alongside German farmers is happening in the following locations. And it gives a whole list of different locations where these are happening. A few tweets out here. Uh, we need to sp pay special attention to this. Our German colleagues show that we also support our farmers by taking vis visibility action. Uh, this is a weird term here. A visibility action alongside A7 lar together with Dutch farmers. Pardon my dyslexia. The farmers are back out on A7 in the Netherlands with a date. Um, here we go. Meanwhile... Another hay bale burning has been set off by beside the A6 motorway. Since beginning their protest, these brave farmers have inspired many across Europe to take similar action, including farmers in Germany, Italy, and Poland, where, in, uh, where a march in Warsaw was recently staged. Other demonstrations have included several border blockades, port blockades, airport blockades, hail burn hay bale burnings, pardon me, and spraying manure on government buildings to show politicians just what the everyman thinks of their globalist agenda. At the counter, as counter, the counter signal editor in chief, Kian Bexty, explained earlier this week after arriving in Holland, the Netherlands government has passed a policy that has been suggested pushed by Klaus Schwab, good old Cotton Schwab from the World Economic Forum. This is It's a policy that will see nitrogen pollution cut in half by 2030. Now along with cutting nitrogen pol pollution comes cutting farms, cutting farm production, and cutting farming jobs. Every farmer in this country is united against this government, Bexty continues, and they're block, blockading the distribution centers of grocery stores to let the public know exactly where their food comes from and what will happen if Mark Rutt, Klaus Schwab, and the rest of the globalists get their way. Here we have uh, police are violently uh, pulling blockades one by one through the use of Ro Romeos, which uh, I'll talk about later. Basically, police-sanctioned Antifa. Oh, okay. Shocking for a democracy, but this is Klaus Schwab's country. Here is a snapshot of the front lines. And uh, that's, well, again, links in the description down below. Indeed, despite the recent shooting incident, which an officer 
fired off two targeted shots at an unarmed teenager. It appears Dutch farmers remain committed to the fight against the government's career-destroying climate change policy. Of course, what are they going to have to go back to? No farms, obviously. Here we are in Poland. Farmers join Dutch, Spanish, Italian, and German farmers. That's enough. We won't let ourselves be robbed. Huge instability in the uh, European Union and wider world as citizens begin to fight back against global I globalist ideology they did not vote for. This is a big showing. Lots of people coming out. Here we have Italian farmers have joined the farmers' protest. They're protesting the European Union's plan to shut down farms to reduce nitrogen emissions. They're threatening to take their tractors to Rome. Take a look. And mind you, they keep saying it's about nitrogen emissions. The end game, the end goal here is to take their land. Their land is the, the agenda. That's what they have in store. It's happening from Key and Bexty. Italian farmers are rising up protesting threatening to take their tractors to Rome. We are not slaves. We are farmers. We cannot make ends meet. And this is not in a situation where they should have any struggles. This is all by government decree uh, and why they can't continue farming. But what what would be the reason why they would want this, ca this land grab, this cash grab, these government agencies? Well, there is vested interest in making sure that our diet changes. Here we have uh, Eva, not going to be able to pronounce that. I'll try anyway. Uh, Vlard during, <laughs> Vlard Dinger Broek, tried. Sorry, Eva. The Dutch minister who pushed the nitrogen law that grants the government the power to expropriate our farmer's land. See, this is all about grabbing their land. Has a brother who owns an online supermarket at Picnic. Guess who invested $600 million into that company? Bill Fake Meat Gates. This is what corruption looks like. And here's a quote from Bill Gates. I do think all rich countries should move to 100% synthetic beef. Eventually, that green premium is modest enough that you can sort of change the behavior of people or use regulation to totally shift their demand. That is Creepy Bill right here with his fake meat um, when he's not involving himself in uh, Planned Parenthood. Uh, he's, he's out there trying to steal people's land and uh, feed them fake beef. Well, where are the, where's all that synthetic beef coming from? Well, right here, homegrown in London, Ontario, Canada, we have just, just in <laughs> the world's largest cricket production facility officially complete. Hey, Aspire Food Group, new plant in London, Ontario, is ready to produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets annually for human and pet consumption. You heard that right. You heard that right, folks. 9,000 metric tons of crickets annually for human and pet consumption. Learn more here. <laughs> Again, links, as always, in the description down below. But as uh, we've seen before, you will eat the bugs and you will love it. That is the motto, I guess, of the World Economic Forum. Cotton Schwab over there, uh, ruling elites, <laughs> trying to uh, change the world, change the world in their image. Um, I wonder if they'll be eating the crickets and they'll be riding their bicycles to Davos from now on. I doubt that. I think um, I think surf and turf's on the menu and uh, private jets. But I digress. Let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. Uh, <laughs> it's just absurd. Anyway, tonight we're going to be having a live stream. I have a special guest coming on this evening. We have Ro from the War Campaign coming on. We're going to have some fun chats. We're going to be talking culture war as well as current events around the world, including Eat Your Bugs. And how, uh, we'll see what his reaction to that one is. Uh, but join us tonight. We're going to be having our my usual live stream for Friday nights. Uh, but yeah, again, with a special guest. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a great conversation out there with you guys in the chat. 
So come join. It's at 6.30 Pacific time. That's 9.30 Eastern. Uh, or check your local listings. But that's what we'll be doing. And <laughs> that's all I got for you this morning. And we'll see you tonight. Keep on trucking.